Hello everyone, Storm from Black and Grace here. It's Sunday 7th of April 2024. Uh, just out on our small holding in East Ayrshire during what they're saying is a storm called Kathleen, I think. It's just windy. It's not even bad, it's just a windy day, like yesterday. Uh, so just down with the girls, they've had hay and their morning ration. Um, just with three, being three weeks today until allowing like, to make sure everyone's on it get enough for their lambs. We do still have the new lambs from last year in here. Everyone basically needed to gain extra health through winter at the minute just because we're so exposed. We don't really have much shelter. There's natural shelter but I'm just a bit paranoid. Uh, this video is partly to show you my flock um, but mostly so I can remember how everyone looks how the ground looks for this time next year. So I'll just go through a quick run through the flock. Um, starting with this one since she's right near us. This is who we call Lumpy Bumpy number one. Uh, she's born in 2022 to the you called Nalfrey and her all 2022 lambs were side by a ram called Axel. Um, so yeah, she had a slight hernia, as did her sister. I'm not sure if that was mother-related or ram-related. Um, possibly thinking ram. But yeah, she wasn't too much breeding, so she's on as a mentor. She babysits the the ewe lambs through winter when we're tupping. They know the routine. And she's just too good to, to get rid of, really. Um, so yeah, that's that one. What have you got on your head? So I saw someone else with a bloody head. Um, this is Alstis. Yeah, definitely Alstis. She's daughter of White Specs, also born 2022, side by Axel. Probably the leader of the 2022 lambs, ewes, I should say now. Everyone does look a bit scruffy with various bits of vegetation in them, but this is what we're living in, so. I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, this is Bluebell. I might have to pronounce it Black Luca, which means Bluebell, as I just said. Um, she is out of a you called Y Specs, who we sadly lost last year. Sai was Tudwell. Uh, she is. She does appear to have some scurs coming through. I'm not sure if she's fully polled or if it is scurs. Uh, her mum was horned, so I'm guessing scurs. But she looks like she has snapped one off recently because there's a smidging of blood on her head. So I'll try and come back later and blue spray that. The little brown one, that is Bathabunga. She is Muswell's lamb from last year, one of triplets she had. To me, she looks a bit small compared to her sister, who we'll see in a bit. But I think generally because they were triplets, they were a bit smaller. So I'm not too fussed about her getting extra feet just to bulk her up a bit. Hi Turi. So this is Turi, or Turi, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Uh, I only got her in November. Um, but she has similar breeding to my oldest ewe, Fawn. So she seemed too good to pass up. So that was that one. Uh, speaking of Fawn, this is one of her daughters, Muspel. Uh, Muspel is Alice's mom, who's there. And unfortunately, Muswell, soon after, well, shortly just at tupping, wasn't well, had the runs, called the vet out, blood tested, had some sort of liver failure. It was touching her whether she'd make it. I'm still worried about getting through lambing, so I'll be giving her a twin lamb drench the next couple of weeks, just before we start lambing, because I'm a bit paranoid about everything. But yeah, she raised triplets well last year. I'm not sure if that took too much out, but she was in an okay condition pre-topping and then she just fell off a cliff. Worms were okay, fluke was okay. Um, I just don't really know. And I'm not entirely sure what that lamb's doing either. Going back over here, we've got a few more. We have a big white one, that's Specs. She's from the Old Hills flock. And Alstice's mum. She had 
twins in 2020, 2022 and 2023. So hopefully again twins this year. Next to her is Alaron, White Spanx's daughter from 2022. She has more missing around the neck because she was jumping through one of my electric fences to try and get to the ram early November and I was getting stressed over it. I thought she was gonna get topped early get the lambs to go rogue and jump through and just generally every time I came down the fence was trashed so desperation we got some clippers and clipped her neck and it kind of stopped it she started getting some more zaps so it seems to work she looks a bit wonky this one is Astrid she's probably my tamest you again 2022 to axle by axle mum was 20 Really nice you. Really interesting to see what lamp she's going to have. Her mum was black, Axel was brown solid, or more solid I should say. Um, so she's got a jean for I'm thinking black in there somewhere. Actually no, she can't have a jean for black because then black would be showing. So yeah, really interesting that one. Uh, this is Luther, Muscle Muscle Lamp. Looking very scruffy, just with the wool and wool starting to go with the extra nutrition from all the food and hay. This one is Astros. She is She's a twin and her twin was a brother. So you went for meat. Good meat though, waiting three is really nice. Um, who else? That's Alsa. Muscle's daughter from 2022, I think we might have covered her already, I can't remember. She's pretty tame, nice. Hey Elsa. She seems a little small compared to some of the others, but the worm's count's been fine, it's just she might be a small sheep, so that's that one. Uh, hey Tori, we've already done you. This is Iris, she is also another, I got her at the same time as Turi. She has similar breeding to most of my first bunch of ewes, so it would have been Fon, where are they? Muscible and Vedandi, the same father to them. And they had some other breeding which is very similar, so she seemed a good fit, so I'm not backing myself into a corner with ram choices. Uh, she's these two have been generally really good, really tame. Not really tame, um, but they'll sort of come up to you if you sat down sort of thing. Yeah, both have had lambs before, so we're interested to see what happens there. Over here, oh here's for Dandy. I can tell for Dandy because she had the runs back in November, so she had a really shaved ass. That is Bladis. That is one of the Dandy's twins from last year. As you can see, she's wearing half the field. That is Askia. She is Fon's daughter, who is there. She is my only pole, well, one of two pole to use. She did have a really bad issue with, it wasn't foot rot. I think she caught her right rear foot on something and sort of tore or cut the bottom of the, the pad on the bottom of her foot really badly. Uh, it's come back pretty well, so, but I had to catch her and she's not forgiven me. I was worried that she had caused it to abort, so we'll see what happens. Um, I hope not, but I wouldn't blame her if she had, sort of thing. It was a few weeks after Tupping that she did it, so slightly worried there. And lastly, Fon, uh, that's my oldest you in the flock, my oldest sheep. I think she is eight. Are you eight this year, Fon, or maybe nine? She's doing really well, kept condition quite well. Love her, like, she looks very boy in the head. Always looks so different this time of year. It's okay, man. sorry, I'm going up. Yeah, she's had twins. She had twins last year, two boys, one of which I've kept called Bung. And she had Asuka and another one, twins, twins, two. 
mask, he really doesn't like me. Could be because of my bag for the hay. So I'm gonna call it quits now, I'm gonna head home. So this is my 45 silent sheep. We were trying to do 100 percent grass fed, but being outdoors and ground turns into this at times. It's hard. Uh, I'd like to get back to it, but I just want to get our, get ourselves used to this land now because we've been here just over a year. The ground's looking a hell of a lot different than it was when we moved in. There's more grass, but it's been a hell of a winter. So we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed for lineman. See you soon.